Looking to enhance the appeal and performance of your gym with state-of-the-art equipment? Look no further than the Gym Administrator. Founded by Sal Corrente, professional wrestling manager, promoter, and author of the great book Bruno San Martino, the autobiography of wrestling's living legend, available on Amazon.com, the Gym Administrator will spot you on that final rep and assist you every step of the way from purchase through installation. Whether it be strength training, cardiovascular training, or performance enhancement, the Gym Administrator works with a wide array of leading vendors and suppliers carefully selected to meet the diverse needs of your clientele. Service the way you remember it. Contact us at 914-494-1066 or visit our website at thegymadministrator.com as well as all social media platforms. The Gym Administrator. All your fitness needs under one roof. Scan the barcode at the bottom of the screen to get started today. A little wrestling, buddy. Ronda Rousey on Triple H running the WWE. I think anyone's better than Vince McMahon. Ronda Rousey isn't pulling any punches when it comes to her feelings about how Vince McMahon run the, ran the WWE while she was there. Former WWE superstar Ronda Rousey recently spoke on CBS Sports. Basically say, I think anyone's better than Vince McMahon. There's only one place is to go up. I really enjoy Triple H. Working with him, and honestly, I haven't been watching, but I saw something from Natty Nyhart saying that they had a card recently and just as many women on it as men. What's your feelings on Ms. Rousey? Uh, my feelings are consistent. She's just bitter as shit, and who really cares what she's got to say? Well, you know? again, I don't want to let you I off that really easy. Care. What is she bitter about? I don't. The first run I thought was very successful. I thought she did huge things for the women's division. I mean, let's give her credit where credit is. I mean, the women's division was uh, completely turned around by her. I've, I'll never take her flowers from her. She's one of the most important women wrestlers of all time. She right. has to be because of what, where, when she was, who she was, when she was. You know, uh, she's why she's obviously bitter about the second run. You know, why is that McMahon's fault? I don't understand. Well, uh, According to her, it is because he he didn't do let her do the things that she wasn't booked the same way, you know. Now I got to agree in one thing. I I'm confused why Vince didn't have her come back the same way she was the first time around, as far as her booking goes. But that doesn't you know mean that she didn't take the paycheck, you know. She did take the paycheck. So shut up. You were paid insanely well, and now it's just you know the timing of your book and yada yada yada. Let's you know, let's uh, let, let's let's I'm going to give you my insight on Vince McMahon so everybody kind of understands it. And tell me if you don't agree with it, by all means, give me your counterpoint. Vince yeah. is an older man. OK, he's in his 70s. He was successful with this organization as a promoter, as a writer, everything that he's done. OK, he was wrestling. The formula he put together worked when you throughout life do things, and they work successfully for a long time, and you get older, right? goes back to the terminology. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Times change. They've changed on us, Jimmy, right? I could even talk about my job, how the employee is different now than they were 25 years ago. You can't say something like... Let's be honest out there, people. I mean, we want to talk about honesty here. In today's society... You can't say anything that's offensive to anybody, whether it's honest or not. Like, if Jimmy, if this is in this time, like, me and Jimmy have a relationship. Just say in this time, Jimmy and I are building a relationship. And in, in, in this time now, and I told Jimmy what I honestly felt about what he was doing on something. People can't handle that kind of conversation anymore. And it's a new regime. So when everybody's talking about what a great job Triple H is doing, well, Triple H is part of a new regime with a clearer mind. You know, of course, he, of course, it needed change, right? Today's wrestler is different. Today's wrestler wants to be coddled and loved and everything else. Vince wasn't capable of doing. He was obviously capable of showing love and caringness towards an employee. He did it throughout his entire career, or towards an independent contractor. But he was—he's unable to give the kind of management and leadership 
that this type of wrestler needs now. I'll make this statement, then, Jimmy, I'm handing the ball to you. I will tell you this, just like the state of this country, the WWE is seeing great times right now. Soon the wrestler will have all the power. I am telling you now, and you will see the downsizing of the WWE, the closing of AEW. You will see, uh, 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 you know, the WWE throughout its history, there's been ups and downs, right? It's like it was at its heights, and then the fans all got old, so they had to rebuild with young fans, and it's a height. You're in the heights right now. Let's be smart here. Can this new regime handle the downturn? I'm going to say no. All right, Jimmy, it's all yours, bro. Well, first of all, everything I, that you said about Vince, I, I tend to agree with. He, he certainly wouldn't be capable of dealing with today's softer wrestlers, that's for sure. I, you know, to use a baseball analogy, a guy like uh, Billy Martin could never exist in today's baseball because he would be way too hard on them. So you're you're right about that. Um, I do agree with you. I, I'm a bit of a pessimist. I think that if that does happen, no matter what the company is, no matter who the company is, if wrestlers take over, it's over. There can't be that. There can't. They've never proven it historically that wrestlers can long, long, long term for generations the way a McMahon did it. You know, uh, no, I don't think that that will happen. Interesting you know, comment and, and that, out there, Jimmy. I want you to answer this. Be Bernard, Bernard says, Vince made money, but we didn't. He never had the boom we have now. Do you agree with that comment? No. I don't either. No. And I'm, I'm assuming Bernard's younger than us, so he, uh, you're right. That's okay. Which is fine. Uh, you know, even, yeah. if Bernard, even if Bernard's not, I mean, to, to, to if you're from our time period and you saw the different steps in the evolution of pro wrestling, you'd... You would know what we already know. There's been two huge booms. You want to talk booms? There's been two atomic explosions in WWE and its history. And the first was the obvious with WrestleMania into Hulkamania. Real quick, Jimmy, Bernard says in the last yeah. 10 years, so he's correcting himself. Understood, Bernard. Go ahead, Jimmy. Go ahead. That's, that's fine. You know, but just historically, just to finish the thought, you know, the first, the first, the first atomic, <laughs> for lack of a better term, the first atomic bomb was Hogan, WrestleMania, and everything that came with it and followed. The second atomic bomb is obvious. It was the Attitude Era. There has been nothing like either of those errors since. I, I'm gonna period. I'm gonna say this time around is equaling those booms. I I, I do feel that way, on a different I'm level not though. Not there yet. All right, I got it. But it's but yeah. it, it on on a different maybe on a di but there's three. You're you hit on the head though. There's definitely three distinctive parts of pro wrestling, and you've named mm -hmm. the two. And I really do feel we're in that one now. Question. We're in a great time period. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're, we're in a great time period. I think we are as far as business for pro wrestling. Absolutely, we're in a great time period. It's just appearing in a different form, I guess. You know? I mean, if you if you look at back on other sports and compare different eras, some eras feel bigger than others. You know? But, here, mean, but, well, but here's Let me put it this way, Mike. You're a football guy. Yeah. You were a hell of a football player back in high school. So let me ask you it this way. Do the New England Patriots really feel the same as Montana's 49ers or Bradshaw's Steelers or Starbucks Cowboys or even even Aikman's Cowboys? That's a that's a that's a great question. I think they're all like standalones, but you I I know where you're going with this and you, you I get it. You see what I'm trying to say? I get though. it. I, Maybe it's the time we're living in though, which really can't be held against the product, no, right? No, it can't. But here's the thing. How go. tested is TKO? How tested yeah. is Triple H and Shawn Michaels? Because the going is going to get tough. Right. Okay, this this business, everybody. Right. Me and Jimmy have been around for a long time now. Yeah. We've seen, yeah. you know, when people go, you know, back in the 90s, the Garden had 2,000 people in there. Yeah, bro. Right. I was out of the military. I was there. I went right. and saw Ric Flair against Hulk Hogan Madison Square Garden in front of nobody. Right. Which is why Vince shit canned that for WrestleMania. Right. But, yeah. But I got to tell you, though, good. Mike, I got to tell you this, though, to, to, con to conclude my side of why I think we're going to be okay as far as our lifetime goes. Yeah. 
I do trust Triple H. I do. I'm I cannot tell you how I've said it before. I'm on record anyway, but I cannot tell you how happy I am that he's making those decisions and that he's got HBK down in NXT training the guys. I think it's great. I don't think that Triple H is going to fuck up terribly, not the way you're getting to, but what you're getting to, what you see, I see in the successor of Triple H because that's when I truly get scared. But here's I have said it. Here's the miss, I think, Jimmy. Yeah. It was a family-owned company. Right. So they understood how to get through the hard times. Mm-hmm. We saw it, and you know, it's funny. We saw it in WCW, right? Time Warner was like, right. we're bleeding, get out, right? If T- so this starts to falter, they- does TKO go, okay, cut the roster to a third and just give us programming, no more house shows, and you all of a sudden see things. You know, instead of saying, hey, guys, weather the storm, we've been through this uh, wrestling reciprocal, right? It, it, it does this. No, we can't afford that. Cut your roster. No house shows. Lower right. the pay-per-views. Blah, 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 blah. That's right. my question. Dude, I'll take it a step further. What if they turn around looking at the budget and whatever and decide that they're going to replace Triple H with some bozo that wants to give, oh, I don't know, Seth Rollins the Spartacus haircut? Good point. You know what I mean? God, then, then we will see the end, you know, as we know it. And, you know, everybody's <laughs> like, well, they could go to AEW. I got to feel, we discussed this, were we five years into AEW now? Somewhere around yep. there? Yeah. I have to tell you, I do not believe that company's making any money. And no. there's got to be a point where daddy's got to pull the plug, right? He's got to pull the yeah. plug. No. You know, it's it's funny. Uh, like I told you, they feel like an expensive version of TNA. And that's almost not fair to TNA because at least TNA grew Samoa Joe and AJ Styles and, uh, you know, a bunch of others. Um, TNA is an unsound. Uh, TNA is an unsound hero, man. You know what? I I never gave them enough credit. I never gave well, them enough credit. When they were bad, they were they were goddamn awful, though. You know there there is that. Um, they never fully captivated me, but they at least had me watching for a while on a regular basis. I can't I can't say that about AEW. Maybe because we've seen this before. This is like WCW and TNA with a big fat wallet. Uh, a lot of the things they do remind me of what WCW did. They are always trying to take an established star, and then they miss book them anyway. So, 